really an effective system, but it takes an amount of discipline to use it well. But if you use it, uh, you can excel in any class that you take. It's adaptable to any discipline. So what you do is on your, can I just hold this up for one second? Is that you'll note your paper has a margin line on it. It's about 1.25 inches in. Disregard that margin and draw your own about three and a half inches in. So you're splitting your paper into two columns. The larger column is the record column, and the smaller column is the reduced column. Thank you. Now it's a good idea before coming to class to have done the reading. Now you haven't done that uh, for today. I don't know, there, there are some people like me who buy the book you know, a month ahead of time, and I'm already three chapters into it uh, before the class starts. Now, something about reading ahead of time, it allows you to understand the lecture material uh, more effectively, but a lot of people read, and they read passively as compared to reading actively. Passive reading means is that you, know, you just look at the words, and you just read every word, and that's it. Really not an awful lot of thinking about what we're doing. Does anyone here highlight a book? Has anyone here ever highlighted your text? Why do you highlight your text? Remind me to read it, to look at it again. To remind you to read, read it, then look at it again. And I'd argue 90% of the time, most people don't reread or look at it until the night before an exam. <laughs> Which then you're, in essence, you're wasting highlighter ink, you're wasting brain power, and you're losing sleep. Because if you look at my text, there's another book written in the margins. Because what I learned to do was not only to highlight, but to think right away why I highlighted that passage. If there were key words in it, I would really make sure to accent those words and write the meanings of them over in the margin. If there were questions I had, I wrote those in the margin. Or I would break that passage into my own words, and then I, and what, what it's called is annotation. If you look at teacher's editions of many of the books, they actually have a lot of notes in the margin, which tell you not only how to teach the information, but how to remember it. That's active reading, because then what you've done is, you've read it once, you've highlighted it, you've thought about it, and then you've written something down. That's four levels of processing, as compared to one, and then turn the page. What it ends up being is retention through repetition, but also retention through actually internalizing the meaning. So try to do this ahead of time. In a short session class, that's hard to do. But the chapters are short enough to be able to pull it off. And if you don't want to deface your book because you want to sell it back, you can do that in another notebook and still achieve the same results. So it starts by doing